Hi fam, welcome back to my channel. If you watched this last video where we went through the entire DV application process with my cousin, then you would know that I mentioned that I faced some challenges with her photo. What you don't know is I faced even worse challenges uploading photos for other family members after that. It was a complete nightmare. So I thought I would do this video with you guys where I show you how I overcame those challenges. There are two methods. If you're interested in that, please hit the like button and keep watching. Previously on Just Toko. So I'm going to be showing you how to take a, your picture for your DV lottery using your mobile phone. Next, I'm going to email these photos to myself. If I upload a picture and I choose my files, then I'm going to choose any one of these. Let's go with that one. I'm getting that error. Can you guys see? It's overly compressed. The ratio is less than 20 to 1. Can you guys see that? And now, so from my email, I'm going to download the best photo that I sent myself. Open Google and search DV Lottery 2024. I'll open the travel.state.gov website for DV applications, scroll to the bottom. I'm gonna click photo examples, but this is a page where you can put in your entry with begin entry. So photo examples, scroll on this page, you get information about the photo requirements. If you scroll down, you see the good examples of photos. You see bad examples of photos. You can click through the tabs, but you wanna click on the photo tool and this is where we'll upload our photo and it will crop it for us. So choose photo. Remember, I haven't edited this photo yet, so I'm getting that compression error. So in a new tab, open photo.com, enhance photos now, and then upload your image. This uses artificial intelligence and it will enhance your image to make it clearer. Then you apply and then download. Now in this download section, you wanna make sure your image is a JPEG. Check the image size over here and make sure it's not more than 240 kilobytes. And then you can go ahead and download. Now we're gonna go back to our photo tool and upload our new image. And it should crop successfully. You can choose to crop manually. This tutorial shows you how, but if you close the tutorial and then zoom in, if you have to move the eyes, the red eyes to your eyes, position them well, and then accept and proceed. There, your photo has been cropped successfully to the required dimensions. And if you can see and compare with these other photos that they have as examples, they look pretty similar. So let's test and see if our image will be accepted. Let's begin a new entry, do the authentication, enter your details, last name, first name, no middle name, female, month, date of birth, city where you're from, country where you're from. You're going to choose the photo that you've just uploaded, that you've just cropped. There it is. You're going to enter your address, no postal code if you don't have one, your email address, your education, your marital status, number of children, and here we go. It's giving us an error message because I did not click no middle name, but I left that field blank. So we're going to go ahead and continue, and voila! we have the confirmation page. Now, if you see this, it means that your photo was accepted for this application. They will do further investigations for your application. So I guess it is possible that you can get um, it disputed, but for now, it will allow you to submit the application. What I faced when I was submitting applications for friends and, and relatives was when a photo did not meet any their standards. If there was a 
fault, even a slight one, it would not let you proceed to this confirmation page until you fixed it. So for me, I took it as if you can get to that confirmation page, your photo is good enough to proceed. Now on to the second method. From Google, open visaphoto.com. Now this website uses artificial intelligence to crop and edit your photo to the requirements of whatever official body, in this case, the US visa. Now they give us an explanation of how it works. You take your picture with a digital camera or smartphone and you upload. They have an acceptance guarantee where they will refund you 100% of your money if your photo is rejected for the purpose that you're trying to use and you get your photos immediately. So you're going to make sure that you, the country that you want to submit is the one that's showing. So it's the United States for us. And then you make sure that it says US visa two by two and then upload your photo. And there it is. So it will show with the watermark, but if you look at these green lines, it's um, showing us the requirements of the US visa and they match the requirements that are there on our photo, on our photo tool. So back to visa photo. You continue to download and there you can see you're going to enter in your credit card information it will charge you seven dollars but you can see they're giving us the specs of the photos 600 by 600 pixels um, they'll remove the watermarks when you download they're also giving us that hundred percent money back guarantee if the photo is not accepted by a government agency and you can also contact them if there are any imperfections for them to do it manually. So it's a really great tool, but it can get pricey if you have a bit of a larger family. So this is a bonus method. So you can use Canva. You create a new design, choose custom design, change it from pixels to inches, and then put two in width and height, and then create new design. Then you're going to upload your photo. Okay, this is the one that we've just downloaded from email. When you upload it, bring it in so it goes into the background. Then you want to resize it. So you just drag the corners and you have to keep kind of moving it around so you can see the corner. But you'll keep doing that until it's about the size that they require. And you can, you know, use your eyes to estimate. And here I'm going back just to kind of look and see what the size requirements are so I can see if my size is correct. And I'm going to copy their um, template over here. So I'm copying it. I'm taking a screenshot and I'm going to paste it into Canva. Just paste it on top. Then I'll resize it so it's the same size as the photo. right so that looks good once i've done that i'm going to change the transparency to make it less right so you see what's happening this will allow me to see if i've put myself in the correct position so i want my face to be um, roughly aligned with the face of the model in the template as well as my shoulders so if you can get that roughly to be the same and you can move the template to the side if you need to change anything, you double click on your picture if you want to move it around so it's, it's attached to the background. But I'll move it just slightly to the left because I didn't like how it was aligning. It was pretty good, but I didn't like how it was aligning. Um, so when you get it into the position that you're happy with, you just click done and it locks back into the background. Then you can move back the template to reposition and see if it's aligned better. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I'm just going to delete the template because I don't need it anymore. And then I'll download my picture. Right? You want to make sure you change the PNG to a JPEG 
and then you download. Right. Yay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go back to the photo tool and upload it. I just want to show you guys something. So you're going to see I'm getting this error. Well, it's not quite an error. It's just saying that my picture is already 600 by 600 pixels. So it doesn't need cropping. Now to check if it works, I'm going back into my application and I'm changing the photo. So I'm selecting a new photo and I'm picking the one that I downloaded from Canva. And then I'm going to continue. And voila, I am on the confirmation page. So the picture was accepted for the application. <laughs> So that's it guys, that's really how I did it. I would say if you have a little bit of a budget and flexibility in your finances, just go ahead and use the tool. But if you don't wanna um, spend, then and you have time and patience and the savviness to navigate this then try the other method um, try changing your resolution try changing the um, the size the image size to 600 by 600 pixels and then try changing the background and just putting a white one i found that helped a lot so i hope this video helps somebody please let me know if it does hit the subscribe button Follow me so you get to watch more tips and tricks on this DV journey that we're on. I'm rooting for all you guys and I hope and pray that it all works out and I'd love to hear your testimonies. Till the next one guys, bye!